Because IBC has explained it that he did not miss, he missed to uh, bring in all the documents that were required, uh, and uh, also. Uh, just as Juma, who was the first to meet IEBC, also issues to do with signatures, uh, is also one of the reasons to why he was uh, not um, cleared by IEBC. And uh, we are going to be looking forward to see exactly what uh, today uh, Deputy President will be presenting here. And uh, as we speak right now, uh, also uh, members of... Uh, that party, UDA party, are still coming in, and I, I think I can see, is it Veronica Maina? Um, from far, I can't really tell, but I think it's her. Well, uh, we are going to be getting it, but the members of UDA party are already coming in here, so any time from now, Deputy President will be arriving with his entourage, uh, of course, uh, to ensure that they have been cleared, and uh, this will signal the start of the competition. Uh, of course, you have to be cleared b first by IEBC to be sure that you'll be in the ballot come August 9th. And once you are cleared by the uh, ret uh, presidential returning officer, uh, there is a, a sample paper that has been given out. Now, as we speak right now, I can see that's Professor Kithura Kindiki, uh, the senator for Tharakanithi, who is coming in. And uh, uh, he has actually arrived. Uh, Professor Kithure Kindiki, I remember he was touted to be the running mate of Deputy President William Ruto, but uh, fortunately or unfortunately, Rigadi uh, Gashagua was picked. Now it is maybe unfortunately to him, and fortunately to Rigadi Gashagua, and he is accompanied by uh, the chair for the National Elections Board, NEB UDA party, Mr. Maura. Uh, who is actually they are being briefed? I remember he is much um, uh, involved in this process, and also I can see um, the team has actually started coming in, and uh, meaning Deputy President is already within. Uh, these are members of uh, the UDA party, uh, members of Parliament. Actually, I can see uh, several of them. Uh, from UDA party, Rigadi uh, Gashagua, yeah, uh, the running mate to Deputy President, actually is uh, also part of the team that is arriving. And uh, Stephen Sang, the governor of Nandi, is part of those who have already arrived and all of them coming in in uh, readiness to the clearance by IEBC. Of course, he has a big team uh, that has accompanied him, uh, including his foot soldiers, his lieutenants, Boni Halwale, Kipchumba Morkomen, uh, Jackson Mandago, the governor was in Gishu County, Amhead Kolosh is the member of parliament, uh, Wajia West. Uh, that is just part of the squad, if I would say that, uh, in the, 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 the local language, or rather the Sheng, sometimes they want to say Mbogi. This is the team that has uh, actually accompanied the deputy president william ruto and uh, from outside i can also hear uh, some uh, applause from out there Ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing right there on your screen is the Deputy President William Ruto going into the bombers of Kenya, of course, milled around, as you can see, our press men and security guards, of course, but he is shaking some of the officials right there and his supporters in the, uh, of course, are in tow in the emblematic green and yellow colors of the Kenya Kwanzaa coalition, but he is taking a seat right there next, uh, 